Okay, we're back. The last video you would have seen is PCA show day, Manchester. So I'm back in today with a full day of rest day eating on this reverse diet from contest prep. Um, I will have PCA Ireland show day coming soon, so I haven't forgot about that, but I'll go through this video today and that should be out next week. But I think a lot of people find this interesting because the reverse personally I feel like it's a, probably the most important part of a contest prep, okay? We've put all this work in and we don't want to just go and accumulate a lot of body fat straight off the bat. We want a long runway of progression when it comes to actually being in an off season and building tissue post-show. And that's not gonna happen straight away post-show. You know, if you're, assistance, you're, if you're assisted, you're gonna have that kind of clearance period, that recovery period as well. You know, or even if you're a natural and you know, you're still gonna have to go through that reverse phase. You're like, if you just go and ramp food straight back up high, okay? And take the piss with food and really, really just kind of eat what you want. Body fat will be accumulated very, very fast. And like, yes, from a physique standpoint, we're gonna see things regress massively, but mentally, it's gonna be difficult to cope with as well, seeing your physique change that fast in the opposite direction. From a health standpoint, it's probably also not gonna be great, just in terms of the amount of kind of fluid retention that can cause as well, and the amount of stress that can place on the organs, etc. as well, when there is that rapid rate of, of, of weight gain, basically. Um, but then when it comes to a physique standpoint, we're looking to have a long runway of progression over an off season. So if we go and put on a lot of body fat very, very fast, all of a sudden, you know, that insulin sensitivity that you have post-show is kind of ruined. Our ability to utilize carbs after a show, it's excellent. Our body's super responsive. You know yourself, you eat some carbs, you get a crazy, crazy pump. So if a body fat is accumulated very fast after a show, that diminishes very, very fast, okay? And we wanna try and maintain that insulin sensitivity and responsiveness to food, etc., for as long as possible after a show, um, as long into an off season as we possibly can. You've dieted for so long, okay? Another few weeks isn't gonna kill you, you know? The food will be going back up, but we have to realize it can't just be ramped up straight away, super, super high. Cardio can't just be pulled completely. There has to be an offset here. Um, just so, you know, we're not just pulling ourselves from a deficit into a massive, massive surplus. Now, some people may need to go into that surplus straight away because mentally, they may not be able to handle the post-show period in terms of the hunger. And again, it's completely person dependent what you can handle and what you can't and how lean you can stay and how fast you, you gain and what the rate of gain is gonna be. It's completely person dependent. And obviously straight away after a show, there should be an initial jump up in weight over the first week or two, um, just to catch you back to the baseline and have you feeling somewhat back to normal. But after that, a pretty slow and, you know, easy rate of, rate of gain, rather than just a massive, massive spike. I've gained 20 pounds in four days post-show before. It is, it is not ideal and it really, really does ruin your off season straight away because all of a sudden then you're still super hungry and all of a sudden you have to try and diet for a couple of weeks to actually get that back off and it's not it's not it's not great at all so a little bit of discipline post show can go a long way because if you can hold things tight for a few weeks post show and just be patient with them food increments a few weeks down the line that hunger is going to be stable okay you're going to be eating plenty of foods composition is still going to be in a really good position you're going to be lean you're going to performance is going to be absolutely flying and you're going to be in a great position for an off season obviously go enjoy a couple of meals off plan like after um pci ireland what i done was i went and i had um, a burger that evening and i had um, some rocky road my sister made um the next day what i done was i actually ran and um, i had a, a breakfast I had oats and eggs then I actually ran a couple of just protein meals with some berries because I knew I was gonna have something later that day. And then I actually, I was gonna get sushi, but I was coming home and I got to fly home and I was like, I'm really, really craving a Domino's. So I actually got a small pizza and had two cookies as well. Um, we have to realize we're always chasing the satisfaction of that first bite. Once that first bite is gone, we're not gonna get that same satisfaction again. So for me, small pizza was perfect satisfied me um, and then I was back back on plan literally straight after that reverse plan was in place and I woke up and even even yesterday my body weight is still lower than it was at the MK it's like 2 kg up from from Ireland which is perfect and like still lower than what it was at the MK so 
um, yeah, a couple of off plan meals straight back to baseline and just being smart around foods. And now that I'm back to baseline and you will see today, I'm very, very happy. I'm satisfied with the foods I'm eating, even though I'm still hungry, etc. I'm happy. So controlling things well really does go a long way. Just to get a meal one ready. So meal one is a meal that I have switched around a little bit. So anyone who knows my Instagram stories of that meal one every single day was the mince, the rice, the peppers, the mustard, and the blueberries with almond butter on rest days as well. But I have changed things around. I've been wanting eggs and I've been wanting bagels and oats. Things that when my food gets high, I actually can't eat them because they just don't really sit well with me. But when I'm when appetite's good, digestion is good, I really, really like them. So, so we have the eggs cooking here. These are the eggs that I'm using at the moment. Then we have the oats in here, and then the rest sets. Here is the finished product. So we have a 300 ml of egg whites, three of the whole eggs, one bag of tin, which these are the ones we are using. Okay, um, 50 grams of green beans. We have sauerkraut as well. Okay, I love sauerkraut. This is it here. So it is excellent for gut health and digestion as well. And it tastes really, really good. So I have a little bit of sauerkraut in with this meal and then 20 grams of the king beetroot. Absolutely love beetroot. I'm a huge fan. So black pepper on the eggs as well. And then we have the bagel with some of the um, zero sugar ketchup too. So that is the first part. Then we have 60 grams of oats. Um, and 70 grams of banana. Now, this is what I use on the oats. So cinnamon on top of the oats, plus these stevia drops. Um, banging, absolutely banging. I use them on top of the oats as well. And um, Jesus, my hands are like dirty with tan. Fuck me. Um, and then, obviously, some of our salt here. Um, 12 grams of salt per day. So I would sprinkle that over. I weigh that out in this first thing in the morning. And then I will sprinkle that over each of the meals. So the egg whites I use as well. I got these off Dolphin Fitness. So um, yeah, it just buying cartons of egg whites. It just saves like hassle and money as well, rather than just fucking throwing away like loads of eggs every week. Um, I just buy the, buy the whites. It just saves the hassle. Right, so just getting meal two together. Just showing you what I do, right? So have rice and mince in this meal. The rice, I literally cook it in bulk. I put it in the fridge. Mince, the exact same thing. So once I go to get a meal ready, I literally come down, get the rice portion, put it in here, mince portion in here, and the meal is ready. Saves any sort of meal prep, because this takes like 20 minutes to do, and then it's stored for literally a few days, so quick tip. Right, so with meal two, you will see the meat portions today are a little bit higher. So mincing this meal is up to 250 grams, and we have to look after a show, okay, after the dieting phase, we're going to be a lot hungrier. Food focus is going to be a lot higher. Um, hunger is just going to be a lot higher in, in general. So when we look at the most satiating macronutrient, it's going to be protein, protein. So basically that means it's going to satisfy you and kind of fill you the most and the easiest. So we've brought protein servings up from basically 200 grams to 250 grams, um, which will just satisfy me a little bit more within these meals. And this second meal, we have 100 rice, 250 beef, uh, 55 green beans and 30 peppers as well and then 100 blueberries these are actually fresh i never have fresh i usually have frozen as well but aldi have actually been sold out of frozen and aldi blueberries are king and um, actually my client adam got me marks and spencer's blueberries yesterday um and they are banging i had them last night and they're actually really nice but marks and spencer's is a uh, is expensive, so I think I'll stick out my Aldi. Um, but blueberries, 100 gram, meal two, beautiful. This is a meal that I always eat anyway. I love the meals I eat, even when I'm dieting. Yeah, there's a couple of things I brought in, like eggs, like bagels in that first meal, but you will see that the rest of the day, it's all very similar. The same foods all year round. You know, beef, rice, uh, fruits, 
um, some potato, some chicken, like it really is all pretty, pretty basic. So you will see it's the exact same things, just a couple of variations and obviously different amounts, etc. as well. So meal tree, 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 fucking hell. Meal tree, favorite meal of a rest day. Now on this plan, again, the same thing, green beans, peppers, rice, uh, pineapple, the same meals as we had all along on prep. But this meal, we have 250 grams of salmon in with a, probably my favorite meal, absolutely love salmon. So super happy that it's, that it's back in. And pineapple, I always got frozen pineapple. I don't know why, I like frozen pineapple. I, I, I used to like the tins, but this has my heart now. And then salmon, green beans, peppers, little bit of beetroot and 75 rice. Beautiful. Put the salmon in the air fryer for like 20 minutes on like 180 and it's absolutely perfect and um, I'm using fresh green beans at the moment as well I usually I used to use frozen but I think fresh are a little bit nicer and um, again when I get a little bit less hungry I will not be making this effort <laughs> and um, I'll probably just be using frozen as well but in fairness I do feel like with making this effort in off season I'm gonna try and keep it for as long as I can because I feel like just making your meals a bit more appetizing and look a bit more pleasant as well, I think will have a positive impact on my digestion and appetite as well, to be fair. So uh, we'll try and keep this going for as long as we can. I think as well for anyone coming out of shows, I know I have more clients competing this weekend and I will go through the exact same thing with them. I will say to them, right, what are you craving? What do you, what do you want to see on your post-show plan? Like, what do you want? I think that's important because if I can devise a plan that includes everything that they're really looking forward to or craving. It means that they're not gonna feel themselves going off and binging or having other things because they're gonna be a lot happier and it's gonna be a lot more sustainable for them and easier to adhere to because their plan will include everything they're actually looking forward to anyway. Okay, so meal four. Now this is a beautiful, now this is a nice one. So we have 300 potato put into the air fryer. So I put these in for what, 20 minutes on like 180, and they seem pretty bang on to be fair. 250 mints, greens, peppers, ketchup, um, mustard, and then 100 apple. I actually put cinnamon on these potatoes as well. Um, try it. Don't look until you try it. It's actually very, very good. So, yeah. The thing you will see with my diet now, and pretty much all year long, is that the majority of it is whole foods. I feel like for me, they make me feel good. They, they make my digestion feel good, my stomach, they make me perform my best as well. So whole foods for me are king. Obviously, you know, down the line, there are little bits of like non-whole foods that go in, but I feel like in order to perform my best and feel my best and work at my best from a brain function standpoint as well, whole foods are my favorite. You will see with these meals, I have things portioned out so I like have the apple on the side and even like if I have like nut butter or something I'll like I'll put it in a little little container and eat that separately as well. But again, when it gets deeper into an off season, I will just try everything in the one lunch box and just eat it, you know, like the easiest way to get it down. But like I said, when we are that bit hungrier, especially post show, making our food taste enjoyable, dividing it out and making it last and actually enjoying each bit is, is important. Um, rather than just throwing it all together and then just kind of like getting it down really fast. So taking our time. 75 grams of rice, 250 chicken, um, our green beans and our 30 peppers as well. And then we have 100 grams of apple with this. This is the seasoning that I use for kind of rice meals. I get it in Aldi, it's pretty fucking good. And then obviously this is the mustard that I use as you know. The French is, it's the only one I really like and um, it is yeah. But that's meal five going down. I am finished. All gonna work for today. I will try and sit down and chill out, which is difficult at the moment. Honestly, I think I'm looking forward for a bit more body fat going on and just kind of getting out of this, just so I can actually switch my brain off because my brain just does not switch off at the moment. And um, it's very hard to sit down and actually watch something on Netflix and chill out. And I always end up just kind of going and overthinking and you know going and working on like a new project or doing something I have to do like next week or something. I just cannot sit still. So meal five, I will try and chill out and relax before meal six. I have legs tomorrow, the first leg session since a week before a show. So it's probably gonna be like 11, 12 days. So I cannot, more than that actually, I cannot wait 
for tomorrow's leg session. So need a proper good sleep in tonight. We're training at the moment as well. This week, nothing crazy. Literally resetting everything, okay? So almost going in and just not even looking at weights I've done before, but just making sure everything is perfect, making sure I'm getting good, good blood flow, making sure execution, etc., is perfect as well, so that I have a long runway to progress. You know what I mean? Just being safe this week, getting blood in, and just setting numbers and setting the tone for what is to come with our progression over the next few months. So tomorrow, and um, we'll go in, we have a hamstring dominant legs. And again, you know, I'll still train just as hard, you know, as, as I usually would. There's no holding back, but we'll probably only do like one set of RDLs and one set of leg press and then maybe do two sets of hamstring curls, etc. But just not balls to the wall just yet in terms of full volume, just because recovery isn't going to be there. But volume will start to come up over the next while as food goes up and then as we push into off season. I was also meant to say I had 10 mils of this macadamia oil in with that chicken and rice. I don't know how I forgot to say that, but this is beautiful. You've probably seen me having it before, but I get this off Amazon and macadamia oil. It is so, so good. So um, yeah, 10 mils of that in with my chicken and rice and veg for my fats in this meal. Okay, it is half eight and it is nearly time for bed. So we're going to get this last meal down and hit the hay for about nine and then look about quarter past five. So in bed for about eight hours, 15 at the moment. Um, to be honest, I'm trying to ramp that up. I think I'll try actually start getting into bed a little bit earlier too and get eight and a half to potentially nine, nine hours in bed as well. Um, sleep is the king when it comes to growth and recovery and performance. So I'm gonna try to improve that even more over the next while. This, okay, we have 50 grams of oats with 20 grams of almond butter on it. Again, the cinnamon is on this as well and the stevia drops as well. And this is the almond butter that I use. Gem got me into this one. I was using just the, the Aldi version, but this is king. Um, then we have 300 grams of Greek yogurt. 100 grams of blueberries and cinnamon there as well with salt. Then further away, we have 30 grams away in the yogurt as well. And that is the ISO Surge Cookies and Cream by Mutant. So 300 yogurt, 30 away, 100 berries, 50 oats, 20 almond butter. And that is to top off today's rest day food. The important thing to note there as well with that meal is I will go to bed pretty satisfied now. I'm pretty full. It won't sit on my stomach, but I'll be satisfied. So I think post-show as well, making your meals high volume will help with hunger. Um, my first meal, as you will saw with all them eggs, that was pretty high volume. And now with this meal as well, like that's a lot of volume, 300 grams of yogurt plus the oats as well. So I'll be very, very satisfied after this. And that is the full day of rest day food. Full day of rest day eating on this reverse wrapped up. We are currently five days post show. I will be getting into our off season once it begins. So I will take you along that um, and kind of let you know plans in terms of how long that's going to be, the way we're going to approach it, um, and also in terms of future shows and plans, etc. as well. I will take you through all that. But right now, reverse phase. I have a few more videos coming up over the next few weeks with client shows. GM's competing in France next weekend as well. So we have a busy, busy month ahead um, before I start documenting the actual off season where when it happens, we will be setting up camp here, not leaving and just really, really locking in and putting in the work for a few months without any distractions, which I cannot wait for. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go.